it was a normal day and I was walking into school and Mr. Parsons said, where's your jacket? You better hope you don't have to go outside today. And I didn't bring my jacket because I just didn't feel like bringing it. And so I walked into class, I walked to my locker and I got all my stuff for my class. And then I hung out with my friends until the five minute bell. And I went to class and we just did class as normal, we weren't expecting anything. And then we started to clean up a little bit early. And the, I reached down to get a piece of paper and the whole room started to shake. And I thought someone, in, well, in Miss Pilkreen's class, which was across the hall, if you jump, the room shakes. So I thought someone was jumping, but it never stopped. So we, me and my class, we were just standing there for a couple, like um, 30 seconds, just like, it's gonna stop soon, right? But it didn't, so we all decided maybe we should go under our desks. And so we sat under there for what felt like 10 minutes as the whole room was shaking. And the girl next to me started to cry and everyone was freaking out. And I thought I was gonna have a heart attack because I thought I wasn't breathing. And then it stopped and my teachers had to stay under the desk because we don't know if there's gonna be another big aftershock and we, we couldn't risk it. And so we, stood on, we stayed under there for like five minutes and then Mr. Gilligan came into the room and he said to go, go outside. So we went outside and there was a bunch of debris and stuff floating around in the air. And so we went down the stairs and went outside and we stood outside in the front of the school for a couple minutes, waiting, just, just waiting to see if everyone was okay and if everyone was with their teacher. And so we stayed there until we knew everything was okay and people had called their parents and started to leave. And so we went into the gym since it was warmer in there and we went for more parents to come and get their kids. And since my mom works here, we, I, have to, I waited for most of the time until only a couple kids were left until my dad could come and get me. And then he took me and my friend Leah home. And yeah, that, that's it. I did learn I'm gonna bring my jacket every day because of Mr. Parsons. And then, uh, like, we started shaking and everything, and we thought like a desk had fallen, but then it like it got a lot worse. And so we all dug down, uh, hitting next to each other. I saw many desks; they're so small, they're falling apart. And the next thing I see is I think it was the Promethean falling, and then there was like like wi uh, wires and tubes falling from the ceiling. Um, we waited for about five minutes. I feel like. That was a good time frame, and then um, the principal came in, told us to get out, and uh, we came outside. And then it was like really cold, and we called all of our parents. Um, then we came back in. There's no service in the gym. Science class, and we were doing our DNA um, alias, and then the ground started shaking, and everybody, like eight people, went under the table, and my head was like out, and like so was everything else. And then like they started, water started dripping, and I was like, you gotta move down. And then they finally moved down, and then my friend, friend Addie, in front of me, she was crying, and so I was like trying to like hold her and like keep her still, just like trying to get out. And then she started to calm down a little bit, and then like, and then like like the tiles started falling, and then the lights went out, and then she started crying even more, and then, and then my foot got stuck under a chair that fell, and then like there's tile on the chair, and like my foot was stuck. And so my ankle hurts now, and yeah. And then we went outside uh, from the counselor's office, and so I walked into class to get my stuff, and I feel, uh, you know, shaking really loud, and you know, even when we practice for it a lot, it's always kind of a shock, and you don't know what to do until everybody starts getting under the tables, and then I hear stuff like falling around you, and, um, and there's ceiling tiles everywhere, and I feel like a lot of the times when we do those like earthquake drills and fire drills, you don't think it can happen to you until, until it does. Uh, I was in this rocky room, and uh, the girl that sits right next to me, she actually was like in the halls walking around when it happened, and as she was running to slide onto the desk, a pole actually almost hit her in the head, and yeah, I breathed in a lot of dust. And, uh, I was a big, huge earthquake, and I was in Miss Walker's class, and uh, so we all immediately got underneath the table, and um, some of us got hurt, got like hit by some ceiling pieces, and so uh, and then after it was all done shaking, we waited still underneath the table for like five more minutes, and then we all evacuated outside.